Moin and welcome. Hello and welcome. This podcast is for motivated people who want to improve their Luxembourgish vocabulary, listening skills and fluency by listening to compelling content. I'm Anne, your dedicated host and the driving force behind Luxembourgish with Anne, with a true passion for teaching my mother tongue since 2012. In this dynamic podcast, I'll share with you interesting short vocabulary lessons and topic conversations from level A1 to B1, and together we will build a strong foundation of the language you need to speak with confidence about everyday life topics. I'll also share exclusive learning strategies and insights for the Spruch and Test oral exam. So join me on this exciting Luxembourgish learning journey. Bas du prat? Are you ready? Moyen. So, it's beginning to look a lot like Krishtar. Krishtar meaning Christmas, which is why I've decided to make an episode with useful vocabulary you need to know when talking about Krishtar in Luxembourgish, and we will end with a short dialogue at the Christmas market. But before we look at the vocabulary, let's have a look at what makes Luxembourgish Christmas different. Here in Luxembourg, we celebrate the Christmas period slightly different than in other countries. Luxembourg has an Advent period and it lasts from December 1st right through to Christmas. However, while in many countries you have to wait the whole 24 days in between, Luxembourg has an extra day of celebration on the 6th. December 6th is Kleeserschastag. Or, yes, let's repeat that word. Kleeserschastag. Kleeserschastag, or you can also say Nikloostag, is St. Nicholas Day. Okay? And it involves lots of presents and celebrations. And moreover, the primary schools, so these are schools for children aged between 6 and 11, are closed on that day. On the evening of the 5th and already one week before, children place their shoes on their doorsteps. And if they have been well behaved throughout the year, then the Klesien, so the St. Nicholas, will fill them with chocolate and sweets. One other big difference between Christmas in the English-speaking world and Luxembourg is the date on which we receive our presents. In Luxembourg, December 6th, children receive many or one big present. And on December 24th or Christmas Eve is when families gather around to exchange gifts and mostly clothes for the children. And then the last aspect of, um, aspect of Christmas in Luxembourg is the importance of the Christmas market, the Christmarkt. The Christmas market is on every day during Advent. Families frequently gather together at the market and eat Grombre Kischelscher or Lenzen Zop and drink, drink Glühwein. And I'm pretty sure that uh, you have already been to our Trustmarkt in Luxembourg City and maybe you have already tasted the Glühwein or Grombre Kischelscher or Lenzen Zop. Lenzen Zop is lentil soup. Good. Now let's learn some key vocabulary around Christmas, followed by a dialogue. Okay, we have already seen how to say St. Nicholas Day, this is Kleeserschastag. Now listen and repeat after me. Kleeserschastag. You can also say Niklostag. And St. Nicholas is the Kleesian and pronounce it Kleesian. The Kleesian. Good. Christmas is Krishtag. And don't use any preposition here, just Krishtag. Hmm? Krishtag. Krishtag. The Christmas holidays is Krisht Vakans. So be careful, we don't say Krishtag Vakans, we just say Krisht Vakans. And it's a feminine noun, therefore you have the D apostrophe. Krisht Vakans, so the Christmas holiday. And then the Christmas market. Do you remember how to say the Christmas market? The Christmas. The Christmas. Let's make a sentence. 
Ösch Giger ob de Kröscht macht. Ösch Giger ob de Kröscht macht. So you use the preposition ob when you want to say that you go to the Christmas market. And then Christmas Eve is in Luxembourgish Hellisch Ovent. Hellisch Ovent. Hellisch Ovent. The 24th of December. The Christmas tree is the Kröscht Beemschen. Let's repeat. The Kröscht Beemschen. More naturally, the Kröscht Beemschen. So Beemschen literally means a small tree. So even if you have a huge tree, you will still say the Kröscht Beemschen. Let's make a sentence. The Kröscht Beemschen steht schief oder the Christmas tree is leaning, isn't it? And then the Christmas presents are tkadoen, tkadoen the presents, and the singular is, so to say, one uh, a present is a kado, a kado, or a e kado, and the plural tkadoen. And then to give presents, you will use the verb schenken. Let's repeat, schenken. So you need to open the mouth for the correct pronunciation. Schenken. Let's make a sentence. Mir schenken Kadoen immer hellisch Ovent. So we always give the presents on Christmas Eve. Let's make a small pause. So these vocabulary here are all useful words you will need to prepare for the Sprachentest oral exam and feel confident to speak about the following topics. Kadoen, Wanta, Wantersport, Vakanz, Hobbyen. And in my online course, Master the Sprachentest oral exam, you will get for each topic a list with the useful vocabulary so that you learn, master and eventually use these core words with the confidence you need in your oral exam. Learn more about this course by clicking the link in the show notes. Let's move on with the vocabulary. The Christ, the Christ child is called Tkrischt Kentchen. Tkrischt Kentchen. The Christmas party is Tkrischt Feier. Tkrischt Feier. So many companies here in Luxembourg uh, celebrate um, Christ, uh, Christmas by doing uh, an Christ Feier. An Christ Feier. So they either go to the restaurant or they celebrate in their office. And then the Glühwein. The Glühwein. So the Glühwein is the wine you the hot um, wine you will drink at the Christmas market. Um, for example, to order a Glühwein, you would say, Ich hätte gern a Glühwein, wenn ich glift. Let's repeat. Ich hätte gern a Glühwein, wenn ich glift. And then, during the Christmas lunch, maybe you will need this word. So for a turkey, is ang dant. Ang dant. It's like the, it's the French name. Ang dant. And then we have also a Christmas cake, which is called a Stollen. Maybe you have heard this already. A Stollen is this cake with a dried food and with marzipan, which you can buy in, yes, in every bakery now during this time. And then uh, ice skating is in Luxembourgish Schlittschong fuhren. Schlittschong fuhren. Let's repeat. Schlittschong fuhren. So use the verb fuhren with ice skating. Schlittschong fuhren. And then New Year's Eve is Silvester. Silvester. Let's make a sentence. Ösch feiern Silvester immer mit Fren dohem. So Ösch feiern means I celebrate. Ösch feiern Silvester immer mit Fren Do him. I always celebrate Sylvester with friends at home. Great. So now we have gone through the main vocabulary about Christmas and we will finish this episode with a very short dialogue. It's a dialogue um, at the Christmas market and when you are at the Christmas market, you will say um Christmacht. 
um Christ macht. Remember, at the beginning we have seen um, a skin up the Christ macht because you go there, then you use the preposition up and then the article the up the Christ macht. But when you are there, um. Okay, good. Um, let's start with the dialogue. Oh, hi, sali champ. Schön, dass ihr Rümze gesehen. Wie geht das? Oh, sali Marie. Mir geht es wunderbar, merci. Aber was möchtest du dann hei? Ma ja, ich sie mit Abendskollegen umkriegt macht, für e gute Glühwein zu trinken. Und du? Ich komme natürlich auch für die Glühwein zu trinken, aber auch für grumpere Küchelscher zu essen. Die sind einfach so lecker hei. Ma ja, dann guten Appetit. Merci, da wünsch ich dir auch schön Feier dich. Merci gleichfalls, Champ, an a good rutsch. Let's listen again to the same dialogue, just to practice. Oh, hi, salut, Champ. Schön, dass ihr rund zu gesehen. Wie geht es? Oh, salut, Marie. Mir geht es wunderbar, merci. Aber was möchtest du dann hei? Ma ja, ich sie mit Arbeitskollegen um Christ macht, für a gute Glühwein zu trinken. An du? Ich komme natürlich auch für Glühwein zu trinken, aber auch für grumpere Kischelscher zu essen. Die sind einfach so lecker hei. Ma ja, da guten Appetit. Merci. Da wünsche ich dir schön Feier, dich, Marie. Merci gleichfalls, Champ. An a gute Rutsch. And we will finish this episode by learning how to say Merry Christmas and a good start to the new year. This is... Shay Feierdeich on a good rutsch. Donc Shay Feierdeich means Merry Christmas. You can also say Shay Christdeich. Both are correct. Shay Christdeich or Shay Feierdeich. And uh, Happy New Year. I like to use the expression a good rutsch. A good rutsch. Literally, this means a good slide, a good slide into the new year. So let's repeat this uh, whole sentence. She feier dich an a good rutsch. An ösch wünschen ihrsch a lo she feier dich an a good rutsch bis 2024. Are you feeling festive yet? Great. So see you or talk to you in the next episodes.